Hello, welcome to this video. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to make an academic poster. Uh, there's lots of software out there. Uh, most software you have to pay uh, for the software and it's really professional and helps you to make a very good poster. Uh, that being said, it's possible to make an academic poster for free without paying any money uh, using uh, Google Slides. Uh, the same can be done with PowerPoint. It's a little different, but uh, today you'll get an idea how to do it. Okay, so let's start. Uh, first, you need to know how big uh, an academic poster is. The international uh, paper size for a poster is A0. So 841 by uh, 1189 millimeters. And so you want to reframe your slide or your PowerPoint slide, your one slide to be that size. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that. You go into Google Slides. Um, just start with blank, that's fine. Okay, so let's call this academic poster or something like that. Um, okay, um, there's some themes you can choose, of course. Uh, feel free to choose those themes uh, um, as a background. I'll show you how to put a picture as a background and build your poster on that. Okay, so let's title this academic poster. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is I'll actually delete this right here. Make some room, delete this. I'm having trouble <laughs> deleting it, but don't. I'll get back to it later. I got it. I know. I know. Click, backspace, click, backspace. There we go. So the first thing you want to do is to go to File, and go to Page Setup. Now, um, so it's widescreen or uh, standard. Now, to make an academic poster or something customized, you have to click on Custom. Now here, you remember the centimeters uh, that we talked about. So, let's refresh what we need. 841, so 84.1 times 118, um, okay, 84. 0.1 times 100, uh, what was it, 100, 118.9, um, oops, mistake, but that's okay, I can always go back, 118.9, there we go, uh, let's say you want it as uh, not a portrait, but a landscape. Let's switch these around. So you get to choose. Uh, both sizes and posters are fine. 118.9 84.1 was it? 84.1, I'll just double check. Yep. Boom. Okay. So you make your poster as if you want from, uh, um, you know, left to right, top to bottom, you get to decide. Okay, I'll show you how to put a background picture, insert image, upload uh, from a computer. I found this free Creative Commons picture from the internet. I'll just put that. I think I named it as abstract color. Okay, there you go. Okay, so the first thing you'll want to do is actually to expand your picture as big as your poster is. Okay, make it bigger. I want it to take the whole space. This is. I should have found a picture that <laughs> fits better. But anyway, you could always play with it, copy paste, 
There we go. That's what I want. <laughs> so sorry for uh, it not being too pretty, but uh, it's going to work. I'll just match the border. Okay, so now you can start working on your poster. What I recommend is putting so make sure your background is in the background and lay the foundations. This is probably the best shape, the um, rounded rectangle. This will be your new best friend. Okay. And you can actually type in these shapes as well. Uh, how do you activate alt text? I'm forgetting how to do this. Please bear with me. Um, Okay, yeah, if you just start typing, it's going to work. Now I need my size to be bigger. So I think maybe is 80 too big? Let's try that. Oh no, perfect, okay. The best academic poster in the world. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. Okay, now we can reduce that. Okay. Oh, we get a little bit bigger. Again, you can add pictures over your poster. And now think of your sections. So let's say you want to have an introduction first. I'll call this Again, probably the Times New Roman is your best friend. Ariel is fine too. Okay, let's go for 80 again. Introduction. Okay, I want this to be on the top. I'll be able to move it afterwards. Okay, top, good, left, okay, and then I'll be able to add my text in here afterwards. Again, I can re reduce my font size to so make sure it fits. Okay, and okay, make a new section. Again, my shapes. There we go. I'll just, uh, this one could be that explains the situation or the research itself. More shapes. Okay. I could add text in these afterwards. Maybe here I can talk about the problematics or the challenges. Maybe in this section right here I could talk about my survey data, present a couple of charts and graphs. Um, again, um, you can always copy paste charts and graphs uh, from Google Sheets or something like that. Um, you can always just capture a picture, an image of a graph, put it on there. That also works. And I would start working maybe on uh, presenting some solutions in terms of the research and the different problems right here. And finally, perhaps I would make a new, uh, one last section for the conclusion. In, in the top right corner here, I'll probably write my contact information, my name, my email, things like that. Okay, let's make this. Okay, well, Ariel, just for the time being. Conclusion. And then in the smaller font, I could type in my conclusion right there. So, yeah. Um, and then afterwards, if you have a really big printer, you could print this up as a A0 poster. Um, also, one last thing to note, um, if, you're, if you're making this for an, online, um, for an online presentation, you'll probably want to save 
it as a PDF. Also, you might also want to save it as an image as well. Your teacher or the conference you're going will say, okay, please send me a PDF of your poster and please send me a PNG or JPEG. Actually, a PNG is more of a newer format. Um, I think it, co it compresses better. I would probably recommend PNG over JPEG. PNG would be better. Okay, so yes, uh, save as a Google save as a Google slide, but also once you're done, please save as a PNG and PDF as well. Be safe. Okay, enjoy making your academic poster using Google Slides. Cheers.